Hello, it's Sophie Aldred here and I'm delighted to read for you an extract from Don't You Worry You Aliens by the marvellous Paul Cornell. There isn't a virus. He's pretty sure of that. The radio, when the BBC News had come back every day for a week, before ceasing once more, had mentioned rumours of a virus motivating some of the big refugee trains that had got stuck in the West Country. But nobody who'd left from round here had been ill. Nobody who'd come through had been ill. So he was also pretty sure refugees wasn't the right word. What were they running from? The ones who'd left from round here were running to something, or hoping to. Geoffrey, in the house on the right, had been the first to leave. He was a postman, and when the local post office had stopped getting deliveries, because the depot in Sirencester couldn't afford the petrol, he'd said he had, quite early on, early enough for it to be a proper move with a van and everything, decided to follow the offer that had been made to him, that the depot would try to redeploy everyone in the bigger centres. He had moved to something and hadn't been heard from since. Wi-Fi had stopped working several weeks back, just before the electricity had shut off. But even before that, a lot of what had been on Facebook and Twitter seemed to have been recycled memes anyway, automatically sent by bots, rallying cries for one set of wankers or another. Everything else had been people's horror stories, and then the comments asking if they were okay, and there'd often been no answer, and the posts would vanish, pushed under by the bots. He was almost glad now to have no more news. It made things quieter. Just him and the world, or what was left of it.